Hi everybody, um, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, really appreciate all the thumbs up and um, the likes and subscribing. Uh, uh, I'm hoping that some of this information is good for, for you know, the, the community out there. Um, I just wanted to put a collection of videos together of all the steps or stages of my motor design and uh, just did a brief overview, uh, voiceover of each one and what some of the pitfalls were. Hopefully you find this useful. So this first motor mount failed. Uh, it was uh, actually temporary and I remember building this and saying to myself, I have to really beef up this fiberglass afterwards. I just wanted to get it aligned and working so I could get the motor mounts built. So uh, the fiberglass actually just cracked below. As soon as I put it in the water, I put any load on it. So total failure. So this second design basically was the first design uh, with a block of wood and uh, fiberglassed in with two carriage bolts sticking up. And uh, it just wasn't strong enough to hold the bolts vertical. So the bolts under, under use bent. With this second design as well, I found that the back plate wasn't strong enough. So you can see here in the picture, I actually added in a brace on the back with box channel and uh, that stiffened up the uh, mounting plate uh, quite a bit actually. Um, you know, it, it, you know I, I'm gonna say uh, it largely took out 95% of all vibrations and movement. So with this second mount design, although the uh, fiberglass on the bottom was uh, you know, quite strong, I put I think four or five layers and I used the mat and you know, tucked it in every corner. It was actually pretty sturdy. Uh, you can see here from the imagery that the bolts were actually leaning backwards and that was really uh, one of the failures in this design. The other thing was that I could only um, align the prop shaft up or down. So I basically had to get that thing dead in the middle and it turned out that uh, dead in the middle wasn't where I wanted the shaft to be. Um, in the stuffing box uh, alignment uh, there's a bit of a a plug on the one side or it's like not quite round or something I don't know but it's basically it needed to be just a little bit left of where I had it which I couldn't do with this design you know this was a total disaster I tried adding in a belt tensioner I got this from a Ford F-150 uh, engine block which was um, uh, interestingly about the right width of the uh, belt um, but I could not get this thing to mount in any way that made any sense uh, it, it just what I ended up doing was uh, cutting some slots into the mounting plate and just using the old, you know, slide the motor up to make the belt tight uh, kind of design. Well, I was getting kind of close here uh, with this design. My only mistake was that I made the uh, channel, box channel on the left and the right of the motor too short. I basically only gave it a chance to put two pins in, um, basically because I had the, the box or the uh, the support bearing kind of inverted here, as you can see. Um, I ended up going with it down. It was just easier to mount uh, things on. Uh, but I needed to put three bolts on the left channel and on the right of it. But this design allowed me to actually move the, um, the propeller shaft left or right or up or down. And then I used the collars to give me my Z-axis of forward to back. And it got me a very close. So I just needed to extend those box channels. Um, I also had, um, just to give it more bracing on the box channel because they were overhanging a little bit, um, I decided to add a bottom brace to the mount. And uh, as you can see here in the pictures, I now have uh, the left and right box channel mounted on the front plate at the top and then on this uh, steel two inch aluminum uh, uh, angle iron on the bottom. And uh, this uh, made it extremely stiff. Yeah, so the, uh, the prop noise was evident now uh, once I got the alignment better. As soon as I had the shaft stopping the knock, I only had a noise when I was going forward or backwards. 
So what was happening is the prop would basically just move a little bit on the shaft and kind of reset itself. Uh, so it made a noise for a little bit and then it was fine. And then it made re noise for a little bit when I changed directions and then it was fine. Uh, so I swam under the boat. I'm not a diver. I don't have tanks or anything. So I just used in my air in my lungs and uh, I ended up taking the castle nut off, changing the, um, pulling the, the, or giving the prop just a bit of a, a knock up. I put a new uh, cotter pin through the castle nut, uh, retightened it all down, and uh, like I said, it worked a lot better. Yeah, finally some success here. Uh, pretty happy about uh, the final mount. It's working well. Nothing's moving. Uh, you can see here from the video, the box channel on the left has been extended. I did the same with the right as well. And then by using spacers and washers, I can align the shaft left or right and um, I can align the shaft up or down by the washers on the support bracket mounts on those L brackets. So basically I can kind of move it up and down and I can move it left and right. And then the collars on the shaft help me move it forward and backwards. So I kind of solved my alignment issues. Um, the belt was straight. I could see that it wasn't um, chafing one side of the belt at all. So everything else worked out pretty good here. And uh, this is the design I've been running with now for the season and I've got a few hours on it now and it seems to have smoothened out and worked well.
first look. Packaged well. 